our expectation of course is to do to give our best we hope to we aim to, to take the six points the minimum goal for us will be to take four points to take advantage of them and surpass them since we are just one point uh, behind them so we will give our best to, to achieve this My expectation for the game against Roma is um, it will be a hard game and we are in sixth place, they are in second place and they got only one point so it's uh, necessary that we get six points to create the gap between the top six and the last four. So uh, I think it will be a very open game, uh, many goals and uh, hopefully we take the six points and uh, make the step to, towards the top three. Yeah, just seconds away from kickoff there. Uh, remember, we are running a prediction campaign where, of course, you can, uh, you know, predict what you think is going to happen in the matchup. We have uh, the, you know, the actual results are in here so far. Remember, you've got till half one uh, to actually make your prediction at CET time. Uh, Manchester United with 91 0.22%, Harry. It looks like a landslide in terms of the fan predictions at home. Do you agree with that? I'm not sure it will be that one-sided. I wouldn't be surprised to see Manchester United take some points from this game uh, because we've seen throughout the season so far they're capable of putting up that type of performance. But uh, from a commentator's perspective, we've had the pleasure of watching AS Roma play this season. We now have Venom back in the starting lineup, and and they were putting together some really nice performances before he was replaced in in the starting lineup. So I don't think it'll be that one-sided. I think United have a tough ask here, but. Uh, I mean, they're, as we said before, they're, they're just separated by a single point in the table. So this, this is a lot closer, I think, than maybe the Manchester United fans at home are probably banking on. Yeah, make sure you get your predictions in up till half one uh, to get those eFootball points as you can with our viewing campaign as well. 300 eFootball points up for grabs there as well. Make sure you go and do it. Uh, so we're just seconds away from kickoff. Like I said, we're just waiting for the referees say so. Uh, a few last minute tactical uh, sort of changes, etc. ready to rock and roll. And uh, this is a hugely important match, isn't it, Harry? It is indeed. Uh, when you consider where both of these teams and clubs are in the eFootball Pro Iconic table, I mean, one of them is outside of the top six at this stage of the season. We heard Eldridge just speaking about, you know, taking a giant leap towards the top three. That should give you an, a kind of indication of where Manchester United sites are set. And, and Roma on the other side, I don't think they expected to be outside of the top six at this stage of the season. And when you consider that there are only six spots in and around, you know, that, that playoff area, and that's where you need to be at the end of the season, you're going up against a team that also wants to be in those top six spots. So if you can take a, a lion's share of points away from them and, and put them in your own kitty, obviously it's a huge match. So, uh, yeah, this one could be really, really close. There's a lot at stake here. Yeah, I've got a feeling it could be a fiery affair. Both uh, sides are, they have some very emotional players. Uh, they really get... Uh, get involved when the goals fly in. Uh, it'd be intriguing to see how the game starts, actually. And, of course, that is where we are headed right now. AS Roma kicking from uh, left to right in their uh, red strip. And, of course, Manchester United in their away black and white strip kicking from right to left. And we are underway here. And it is AS Roma in early possession. Yeah, one thing you'll need to watch out for here is... Now that Venom's back in the starting lineup, look for more direct balls into the feet of the, the front three and also those long balls and those knockdowns. It's something that Roma liked to use initially at the start of the season. So we'll see with Venom returning whether or not that type of play style uh, reigns supreme for them here as well. Yeah, one team who are unchanged are, of course, Manchester United as uh, Ostrovich feeds Eldridge O'Neill a chance uh, early doors for them. But good defending in the end here and this sort of Jekyll and Hyde performances we've seen from AS Roma uh, it'll be interesting to see whether that continues it'll be something they will 
of course, be looking to address uh, over the last couple of weeks. Eight minutes gone and a throw on the near touchline to be taken by Scott McTominay. And uh, he finds Mason Greenwood, of course, controlled by Eldridge O'Neill. Uh, good challenge, though, from Roxer, but it looks like we may have the first corner kick of the game. And it's down here on this near touchline as the uh, AS Roma defender comes across. Venom to uh, try and get a block in there from that near post delivery, but it is in there Ooh. and he could do nothing about it. And an incredible downward header into the back of the net. And what a start for Manchester United, Harry. What is the dream start for them? I thought this corner was going to be blocked. Often when you see players come towards the, the corner, it's to try and stop this exact type of delivery into the box. It's Cam's the eventual goal scorer with Harry Maguire, I think, the centre-back up to header at home it was a great delivery and he just got there in front of well in between the goalkeeper and the man covering the front post so wonderful goal from cams and that one is going to be a real tough one to swallow from as roma they are renowned for their good defensive work and well they'll look for an immediate reply they will indeed a really sloppy goal to give away uh, but the way the way bruno fernandez was able to you know lift the ball over that defender at the front post and and down again in time for Harry Maguire's leap was uh, was pretty incredible and, and something Harry you, you would imagine they've been working on uh, in training I'm just going to interrupt myself here as uh, Roma have the instant chance for a response but cleared away yeah uh, Harry talk us through the, uh, the the training that they possibly were doing with that one oh yeah it's the, the type that you absolutely practice as Roma try and squeeze something through here but it, it was the perfect delivery, as we said. Squeezing it in that type of area is so tough to do in pairs, but uh, he was able to do so very nicely indeed. And well, United are doing well as well in terms of a defensive work at the moment. Roma can't find any way through. They're forced into the foul. That will uh, relieve a bit of pressure on the United back line. But yeah, tremendous delivery. Cristante will go into the book. And United, well, they have an early goal. Yeah, Rocks are dispossessed there by Ostrobuch, uh, who started this game pretty brightly. We questioned uh, his form going into last match day, but he was absolutely brilliant in match day five um, and put in a pretty imp uh, incredible performance individually. Uh, and it looks like he's looking to continue that again today as a uh, chance comes in there for Eldridge O'Neill, but blocked and out for uh, another corner. And of course, AS Roma have had that warning. And uh, look at that, the defender goes straight across Venom uh, to get even closer to uh, the delivery taker, which will be Ostrobuch. This time he floats it in because that uh, option was narrowed off. But uh, Manchester United still have possession. They've now given it away and a chance for AS Roma to break here through Kepa with a long ball over the top. And he's onto it. It's a real chance here for AS Roma. The first touch is a little bit sloppy and uh, the defender was able to come across. But uh, warning signs there for Manchester United who now turn defence to attack. Lovely sidestep there from Cam's Beautiful bit of skill. And now Elja Janil plays it through. It's Cam's. It could be two. It should be two, Harry. Yeah, great work from Cams. The sidestep's lovely, but then also the, the vision to pass it back. Yeah, maybe he should be doing better there. The goalkeeper does really well to cover off his near post. This is the third corner of the game, though, for United in the opening 25. They have been on fire so far in this first game. They have a really bright start from the Manchester club as the ball gets played in towards the back post this time. Good header away from... Uh, Edin Zieko and a chance to counter here for AS Roma through Kepa. Kepa tries to feed it through for Rox. It's just not quite happening in an attacking sense here for Roma at the moment. Still early doors though, Harry? Yeah, it isn't. And I wonder whether or not with, with Venom returning to the starting lineup for Roma that maybe United would be very aware of how they like to play earlier on in the season. We can see they're sort of feeding at the moment our Roma off those type of long balls. And, and United just have bodies back. That's a bit of a misstep though. The referee will come through and uh, bail well no it won't actually it'll give the the foul to United so there's a real chance here actually for Manchester United maybe to swing one in there is but he's gone short to Cams and it's a real uh, mess up there between the two Manchester United players and a chance again for AS Roma to counter again the final pass is lacking and Manchester United doing a very good job of squeezing possession back as soon as the ball breaks over the halfway line for AS Roma there's a, a United player there again 
a chance for AS Roma. Can this good defensive work continue or can AS Roma get an attack of their own? No, they can't. And Manchester United are able to clear up towards Edison Cavani. And this game uh, starting to be a, a bit end-to-end -end already. We're only half an hour gone. Yeah, just five minutes left to vote in the prediction campaign as well. Most of the votes, I think it was 90%, wasn't it, said Manchester United. They're looking good for their money right now. If you did vote for the Manchester club. And, uh, well, Roma, we've yet to see a real chance on goal for them. Yeah, they may get one here, but could challenge again. Back in uh, S. Venom uh, possession, he tries to chip the ball over the top, looking for Roxa, but good clearance and a chance to counter here for Manchester United. Out towards Cams on this left-hand side, finds Eldridge O'Neill back to uh, Ostubuch and now uh, feeds it forward, looking for Edison Cavani, but the ball drops out of play for a throw. Remember, if you are just joining us for the first time in the season, where have you been? But if you are, uh, of course, there will be two games for each matchup today. So even if AS Roma, as an example, were to lose this game, they still have another three points up for grabs straight away afterwards. A maximum of six points can be taken from every single match day for each team and currently Manchester United are heading for three points from the first possible three four minutes remaining in the first half headed down looking for a chance for Kepper swings can't get the shot away but then oh. Roxa really could have equalized it was a thunderous shot coming in on the right foot but it's drifted a whisker wide of the target well, it's classic Roma, isn't it? I did wonder when they had that free kick just inside of Manchester United's half whether or not they'd go long. And, well, they did so. They won the second ball. It's just vintage Roma. You have to be aware at all times that they can just swing one into the box from any given distance. Very, very direct. And now Manchester United try to uh, beat them at their own game. And uh, it looks like the referee's awarded a free kick here for a late challenge and uh, that will surely be the last action of a pretty phonetic first 45 minutes unless deep into added on time AS Roma might just have one last chance to salvage what could possibly be an equalising goal but the clearance comes in and the first half is drawn to a close AS Roma nil Manchester United won it was a goal in the first few minutes Harry a lightning start and then it's been pretty even since it has and and I've been really impressed with the way Manchester United have defended uh, here in the first game of the day also, the problem is though one, and I was wondering whether or not any changes might come in but the problem is you, you're still only one goal in front right. So if you're Roma, you don't want to change anything because you know you could maybe snatch a goal back. And if you're United, you, you certainly don't want to try and reinvent the wheel and, and fix what isn't Fix something broken. that's not so, broken, exactly. Yeah. Exactly right. So, yeah, we will see exactly uh, what happened in this second half to come. Could be really intriguing. It could indeed. Outside of the early goal for Manchester United, they could, and as we said in commentary, probably should have been 2-0 in front, a great save, but uh, he could have done a little bit better on the finish, uh, Cams. And then AS Roma, late in the first half, had a, a very direct attack that almost broke for them, and Roxa in the end with a shot that went wide of the target. But Manchester United have started the second half like they started the first. A real chance here for Edison Cavani! And Eldridge O'Neill controlling him, fires goalwards with the left foot, good save, and it's yet another corner. It is indeed. I thought the chance may be gone then. But the through ball was set up really nicely for Eldridge, just controlling Cavani. Maybe if he lifts that a little bit higher into the goal, we may be seeing 2-0 and, and Roma put under a bit more pressure. This will be the fourth corner of the game here for United. Corner to be taken by Bruno Fernandes on the far touchline. This time he goes short. Ever since the uh, opening goal, AS Roma are highly switched on to that possibility, but... It may be damage already done if the uh, score stays the same. And so far, United have been pretty resolute indeed defensively. And they come again here on the attack. So far on the pattern of play, you would predict that uh, a second goal may come their way if they continue. But as we know, this game can swing in momentum so many times during a 90 minutes as uh, Roxa now feeds Kepa. Kepa with a lovely ball through, looking for Roxa. Chance here to play it through. Onto oh, Venom, right foot shot. And exactly what we were talking about. Manchester United with all of the play 
at the start of the second half. But look who's got the goal. It's AS Roma and it's a hell of a finish, Harry. It is great work out of Roxa on that left-hand side and also to find Venom. Great touch inside. The manual keeper comes in from Eldridge, but he just can't shift the keeper across enough. And it's Venom who scores on his return to Wii Football Pro iconic play. Bit of a masterclass there from AS Roma, switching out Axa, bringing Venom back into the lineup. Uh, he's been out of the, the starting lineup for well, a couple of match days now. I haven't seen him play since match day three. And on his return, he's equalised here for Roma. And now there's a conundrum for both clubs because, well, I mean, I mean, what do you switch here if you're both teams? Do you maybe try and switch formations? Bit of personnel, maybe. Let's have a listen. We take him off now. Take another play. Looks like a personnel change there, as Aldridge <laughs> mentions. Keep one last. Uh, the, uh, yeah. They didn't heed the warning, Manchester United. AS Roma had that chance right at the end of the first half. Oh, no, he half. doesn't have it. And, uh, avoid, avoid the, avoid the, the tackle. Yeah. I will give to McTominay. They were and able to grab leader. that equalising goal. This is what we were saying, weren't we? I mean, only 1-0 at half-time. You don't want to change too much because it is only 1-0. Um, and it's the most dangerous... Oh, but it's a chance for an instant response from Manchester United and it's a huge chance. And you can see the frustration from Eldridge O'Neill because that really, again, for the second time in the match, should have been a second Manchester United goal. And then the chance goes begging. Yeah. I know our graphics say there was a goal, but that was a miss. <laughs> Don't get excited, United fans. It is, unfortunately, still 1-1. But yeah, that was a big chance. I think it was for Cams. He's had a few. Don't forget, he was the, the goal scorer for United. He's had a few this game that he maybe could have tucked away. So, yeah, unfortunate. He's been playing well so far, though, Cams. Hopefully it doesn't deter his confidence too much. But, uh, yeah, maybe he should be putting that one away. Oh, great challenge there from Manchester United, but they're on the ropes here as AS Roma come again looking for a second goal. Will they rue these missed opportunities? Because AS Roma are well and truly growing into this match. Uh, a quick uh, update there on the statistics as uh, you saw S. Venom with his fourth goal of the campaign. Just the one assist to his name, but uh, five returns so far in, if my math serves me correctly, four match days. It's not bad going as uh, the 60-minute mark comes and goes. We're into the final third of the first match as the ball gets played through, looking for Ostrubic, but fired away. Good defending again for Mayus Roman. They've looked pretty solid, haven't they, Harry? Yeah, really good defending there from Venom, actually, realising that the United man had the pace. He'd already had a head start on the run. Get the body between the man and the ball, slow the progress and get the ball out of play, most importantly. It's been a really well-oiled defensive display from both teams so far, actually. When you consider how many chances there have been, uh, the defence has done its very best every single time to try and, well, quell the danger. And the fact we've only had two goals so far in this game is, uh, well, a testament to that. Of course, now we're approaching the 70th minute. Wouldn't be surprised to see maybe some substitutes come into play because this is the time of the game, Adam, where things can really heat up and, and a personnel switch can really just change the tide of the game in your team's favour. Can indeed, as the ball gets fired forwards down the left-hand side as uh, Eldridge O'Neill tries to bring it under control. Obviously, we touched on Venom coming back into the side, Harry. Do you notice a difference in the AS Roma team with the two different personnels? I will say that they are going back to their tried and tested type of gameplay that we're so used to seeing them go for. Those long balls looking for uh, runners in behind. United free kick, though. Well, an early ball, and it's gone down the left-hand side. They have clearly been working on the training ground for uh, some of these routines. And uh, obviously, in tight, tight games, Fine margins can be the difference as uh, they come down the right-hand side, though AS Roma, a chance for Roxa to play it across the face. Good defending again there, this time, I think, from Eldridge O'Neill getting back. Cams can't quite get it under control, though, and the siege from the Italians comes again as the ball ricochets up to Venom. Venom with a nod down to Roxa, keeping the pressure on. Wave after wave of AS Roma ball players uh, 
Now Kepa tries to turn provider, fired away, and now Manchester United have the chance to counter in the slide, comes in looking to cynically end that attack, but he wasn't able to get anywhere near it, and finally the challenge comes in, and it was a good one, and it looks like the attack has died out. Well, 10 minutes to go in game. It's anyone's guess as to which way this one's going to go. Both teams going hell for leather, trying to win it, and look at this. Yeah, they really are, and we, we've often talked about Manchester United being a, almost like a four-point side because they, 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 like you said, they, they very rarely don't pick up points. But they, they, I don't have they won six points from a game week. I'm not too sure. Maybe you can uh, let me know on that one. They always seem to pick up those points, even when they're not quite performing to their highest. So maybe there could be another four points on the table for them again today. Yeah, potentially. Let's have a listen to what they're thinking right now and. Because, again, this is so evenly poised, we don't know which way it's going to go. Just thinking back to that frustration from Eldridge as he fired goalwards and it went wide. He knows, you can see it in his face, that was a huge opportunity to retake the lead. They certainly don't want to lose it from here, though. And that's the conundrum. Pedro gets it back. Venom with the long ball over the top. It's a lovely flighted pass. The goalkeeper's come out and it looked like it ricocheted off his shins there. And Manchester United somehow survive. And uh, they now break down the right-hand side with Eldridge O'Neill. And that's a horror challenge coming into Roxa. Referee plays a good advantage, though, in towards Ostrovich. A chance to play it across the face. And it's another chance and it's wide of the target. Huge moment. Oh, and it's cams again for United, I think. Roxa tries to stop the play. It's a great run from him initially to get to that front post. Good to see, of course, all the United players on the same page, but they're just miss missing that finishing touch at the moment. And in the 85th minute, you'd think that would probably be a winner at this point. Five minutes plus stoppage time remaining. All eyes on the fourth official as he walks to the technical area. How many minutes will be added on in this first game of match day six? It's out towards Roma. Are we going to see an unlikely winner right at the death? Or are we going to be points shared to the right-hand side? It's AS Roma who look like they might possibly be the team who get that one last chance to win it. Back towards Kepa. Kepa, they're just buying for time now. And the referee is given a free kick. It's a free kick to Roma here as well. Wouldn't be surprised to see this one be swung in for that second ball. It's something Roma like to do so, so well. Yeah, they've gone direct again, but this time good defending from Manchester United. And uh, the ball's up towards the half island. And one last chance here for Manchester United. It's Cams. Cams in towards Ostrovich. Good defending again from Roxa. And it looks like the referee will be whistled to his lips. We are in the final seconds. Surely there's not going to be a winner. It's Roxa. Finds Venom and tries to find Kepper again. But good defending. And the referee brings the first game to a breathless end. Harry, 1 1. Fair result. Oh, crikey. I need to. Need to catch my breath after that one. I, I think it was fair on the balance of play. I mean, both both teams had their chances. I think United will be very, very disappointed they weren't able to capitalise on some of the big chances they had. I mean, there were a couple for Cams. There was a, there was one for Eldridge as, as well. I think if you're United, you need to try and work on getting maybe Ostrobuch in, into those types of goal-scoring positions. We've seen not only for United how well he's been doing so far this season, but but also uh, on the national stage for, for Poland as well in the E-Euros. He's been on red-hot form recently. Uh, but 1-1 in the end, I think, you know, both clubs had chances to win it, but they were just lacking that cutting edge and maybe some, some food for thought going into the second game. Yeah, I mean, Cam's with the goal, Harry, uh, from the corner, a very well-taken early goal, but he had a hat full of chance. He could have had a hat-trick today. He could have. I mean, some of them were very tough chances to, to take. I mean, they're, not, they're certainly not easy, especially when you consider how much Roma like to pressure. I mean, there's one for Roxa that, I mean, look at his disbelief. He can't believe that one's gone sailing wide. And uh, a lot of Kams' chances were very difficult. I think this one fell to him here as well. I mean, you have two Roma players trying to put pressure, but 
Yeah, it's just it's just unfortunate that he didn't have his shooting boots on today, Cams. I mean, certainly not in the first game anyway. Second game still to come. Hopefully it won't play on his mind too much, especially for those 92-odd percent of the people in the prediction campaign that thought United would be, would be winning this affair here. But... Uh, yeah, that was a really, really intriguing. It was high octane, wasn't it, that first game? Despite it yeah. only being one all, there was just so many chances left and right. And the emotions from the players there and, and the player camps just, I think, tell the whole story. Yeah, and of course, uh, Venom with the goal back in the side today after two out. And uh, rightly or wrongly, the all eyes would have probably been on him today to see how this Roma team responded. And, uh, you know, he stood tall oh. today. So far. Yeah, and it'll do, do him a bunch of good in terms of confidence as well. Let's have a little listen to the Roma boys and see where they're at. Or do we, or do we go up with the line? I think they want to do the wrong pass. So maybe if they pass to McDominay, just a quick press on the Smalling or Jesus and to go back. Okay, let's keep the let's take the defender then. Both teams fairly direct in that first game. Of course, Roma famed for it, really, so far in the competition. Um, but as you heard there, it seems like Roma are expecting a, a similar sort of tactic from Manchester United as well. Yeah, it's it, it's good to see. And, and you asked me in the middle of the commentary, actually, what I noticed differently about AS Roma on this match day compared to when they were playing with AXA on previous match days. I think they're certainly taking a lot more risks when we saw them playing with Axa, they were trying to build uh, from the back and, and try and play, you know, intricate football. I think with, with Venom back in, I think he sees stuff much higher up the pitch that he can maybe capitalise on. And, and as a result, I think Roma is a football club at the moment, in the eFootball Pro Iconic at least, are, are trying to capitalise off of those risks and, and going back to their tried and tested formula in the eFootball Pro Iconic. Yeah, more direct, uh, quicker uh, into play. And, and of course, the goal came from that, didn't it? The, the, the fast ball in towards Venom. He just took one touch to control, didn't delay, smashed the shot home. Uh, whereas, like you said, maybe in, in the couple of weeks gone by, they've been a bit more laboured in their uh, attacking exploits. Yeah, you're right. And it's, I, I think maybe something that United need to be very, very wary of here in this second game as... Uh, I, I think in terms of which club was in the ascendancy uh, towards the latter stages of that first game, I think you would maybe, despite uh, United's ple plethora of chances, I would say maybe Roma were growing into the game. And uh, well, if they can continue it in this second one, I think United will have a, a handful uh, on their hands here. A handful on their hands indeed. As uh, the ball uh, starts in. Uh, AS Roma possession now wearing their away strip and they've got a lightning start here and it's Kepa with the goal and just like the first game we've got an early goal inside the first few minutes but it's for the opposite team and this time it's AS Roma Harry direct again well it's exactly what we're talking about these type of risks calculated risks from Roma coming through and paying dividends we said United would have a handful on their hands they just don't track the runner in behind I think there's a centre back that steps up for United I don't think anyone was controlling him per se I think he was just uh, drawn to a Roma attacker and that leaves the space in behind great vision it really was I think it was some Roxa who played the pass into Kepa the two Serbians combining really nice early goal and that will do Roma the world of good in terms of confidence now Brilliant start from the Italians, and I think an identical goal time to the first game. Now it's Manchester United, though, that are going to have to respond as the late challenge comes in. And uh, what we did see in that first game is Ayers Roma were pretty solid after equalising, so can Manchester United break them down? Well, this is the first chance, and the pass coming in from Cams is dispossessed, and... It's out towards the left-hand side for AS Roma and United will know only too well that if you give AS Roma a chance to smash the ball in, there will be a chance at the end of it. And uh, Mason Greenwood tries to get round the right-hand side. As the confirmation comes in of the Kepa goal, the latest to his tally. 
Yeah, I'm just looking back through the match days right now to see if there was ever a match day where United failed to pick up points. It was match day four against FC Barcelona. And, well, we know how well Barcelona were playing up until the previous match day. So you know, they've been able to pick up points wherever possible, United. They've, they've done so here again. They've already got one point in the bag after game one. But uh, we'll see how that impacts the league table. That would see, of course, Roma leapfrog United into the top six. And United... Well, they'd be on the outside looking in. Yeah, but they've got a chance here through Edison Cavani's round the goalkeeper. He's played it across wonderfully unselfish. And Cams, the man we were talking about in the first game, time and time again missing chances, has buried this one and it's 1 1. I think he just heard a sigh of relief there. I think Cams was maybe ruining some of the missed opportunities in that first game. It's a great equaliser, it really is. And this is where Roma are really susceptible when they just pile those bodies forward. The defence is always running back towards their own goal. They're trying to catch up to the United players, breaking so quickly. And as you said, fantastically unselfish. Roxa trying to shepherd Ostrovich, I think it was. Just out of play or away from the danger area. But the young pole on the right-hand side of your screen finds the pass into Cams. And it's 1-1. More goals to come? I think so. I think so too. Uh, Ostrovich with the assist there. Uh, but it was a wonderful uh, back heel from Cams to set Ostrovich away in the first place. He, he started and finished the move. Wonderful play from the Frenchman. But now AS Roma come again. And this game is a chance a minute at the moment. And we've got another corner. Another chance there, Harry. Yeah, I think we're seeing now why this is the featured match of the match. They straight from the kickoff. I think if United would have conceded that they would have been very very disappointed but uh, will be a corner something to worry about here for the Manchester club got a two to swing it in towards the back post headed down into the danger area. more direct play from AS Roma but Manchester United are able to smuggle it away but they've gifted possession back to the Italians and there's confirmation of the 11th goal contribution from Cams this season he is having a wonderful campaign as the ball gets played up but cleared away by Nemanja Matic again being controlled by Cams he's having the game of his life at this moment in time he definitely heard us in the commentary of that first game as uh, the ball gets played towards the edge there a chance for Kepa to get the shot away but cleared away AS Roman not really doing much in the attacking third Harry watch them go and score a goal right now They are probing, and, and this will frustrate United, I think. They finally win the ball back, and this could be really dangerous for Roma, actually, if they're not careful, as United maybe try and break. Cleared away again, though, from AS Roma. Oh, it's going to be an interesting one back for the goalkeeper. Hard in your mouth moment there, as you just see the table on the left-hand side. Manchester United again leapfrogging Roma with that equalising goal back into the crucial top six to make it through, of course, uh, it's hugely important that top six as the ball gets played in and that is an incredible stop from the Manchester United goalkeeper great work here from Rock so once he receives the ball just a fake shot to get a bit of room but you're right it's Eldridge O'Neill the captain of United stepping up and pushing it around the post wonderful dummy shot from uh, AS Roma there I wasn't quite sure who was the man in control of the shot as the ball gets played in towards a penalty spot. Good punch clear again from the United goalkeeper. Volley back towards goal by Roxa, but it's dropped the wrong side of the post. And it, uh, an eventful yeah. first half an hour as always, Harry. I was going to say, there's only half an hour gone in this second game. We've already seen two goals. Both clubs just absolutely going for it. It's what we love to see. And we just saw a live look at the league table, as, we, well, as you said. United leapfrogging Roma once again, but importantly for Roma, they still would not be inside the top six spots, and, and that would be both of their, their matches of the match day done and dusted if it stays like this. So they really need, they need the points more than United do here, Roma, I think, because we know that league table is going to change at the end of the match day, and you do not want to be with games running out, with match days running out, outside of that top six. Yeah, I mean, you've got the likes of Bayern Munich, for example, who are sitting at the bottom of the table at the moment with uh, a possible six points that could definitely, more than likely, leapfrog with a decent display today. And uh, the ball gets played out towards the left-hand side, a chance for 
Roxa to switch possession back to Kepper. Now Kepper tries to find Venom, but good challenge coming in from Eldridge O'Neill. One in the air, but the referee looks to have penalised the uh, AS Roma man there. Coming towards the end of a incredibly impactful first half. Is there another chance here for Manchester United? Edison Cavani almost stole possession back. Roma dicing with death on the edge of their own penalty box as uh, Roxa now finds Kepa. Kepa turns to Venom. Lovely interchanges there from the Italians and it's another chance here and it's smashed into the back of the net by Kepa. It's an incredible finish with the outside of the right boot and this is something truly special. Well, that was a beautiful goal from AS Roma. From defence into attack, the way they, they broke was absolutely incredible. I mean, the back heel starts from Roxa, I think, to, to set things off. And it's just really, really good team play. Eldridge O'Neill on the defence there. I think it was Victor Lindelof. He was controlling, just too slow to react. Allowed his man to turn inside. And, well, that's a great through ball over the top. The lob through ball, so effective into the feet of Kepper. And as you said, the finish to match, that's just something that we were missing in that first game from both clubs. Kepa puts AS Roma into the lead just before half-time. If you could encapsulate one period of play from a, a team like AS Roma, it would be that goal. Lovely, direct chip ball over the top, great run. And then sometimes people would play it across the face. They possibly looked to calmly and composedly just place the ball. Not this Roma team. Smashed into the top corner emphatically and they uh, have possession again. Surely not a third at the end of the first half. This could be an absolute riot at the end of the 45 as Edin Dzeko now has the chance to turn provider but good challenge, an important challenge again coming in from Cams. He is the man solely responsible for keeping the score in check as confirmation comes in of a second goal for Kepa and uh, he's having quite the showing today. Yeah, he is. Good to see him back on the score sheet. Of course, just a a minute or so before half time, maybe one last chance here for Roma. Dying embers of an incredible first 45 minutes. The referee brings it to an end. And AS Roma, after being very, very even in that first game, have come out 66% possession, Harry, and, and they've used it well. Yeah, they have, and a lot of it has come from their attacks and, and United clearing the ball. And United not really having that out ball, that outlet. They haven't been able to break. They haven't been able to hold the ball up. We've, I mean, we've rarely seen action in, in Roma's half, at least towards the latter stages of that second half. There were a, new, a number of attacks that Roma were able to recycle and, and come back at United. That's why we're seeing that statistic so lopsided. But there's still another half of football to play here. Re-football, I should say, between these two clubs. What a game to kick us off, though. Indeed, and we've seen uh, we've seen momentum shift from one to the next and back again so many times already today. Don't write off Manchester United at all at this moment in time. In terms of personnel, Harry, you mentioned about not being able to make it stick in the final third. I'm going to come back to that if they can do that here. No, good defending again. Uh, I mean, they've got the likes of Edison Cavani, for example. It's still not happening in terms of a, a physical point of view. They're not able to hold the ball up. What, what would you do? What would you look to change, possibly? Well, I mean, they have the likes of Pogba still on the bench. Maybe you shore up that midfield and, well, it's going to be Roma. I'll come back to that. No, oh, it's another chance across the face. It's just too far in front of Venom. Still in the danger. Good challenge coming in from Ostrobuc. But AS Roma still piling on the pressure and Cam's again the last man of control as he smashes the ball up towards himself on the counter-attack and that is a really late challenge coming in the referee plays a good advantage and the shot is five goals you would think the referee might bring it back I don't even possibly think he's caution do you not even think he's given I don't think he's played advantage at all I think the referee's seen that one is absolutely fine um, oh no, looks like he No, he has come back. back. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I was getting a bit worried then. Yeah, I, I didn't see him play the advantage, but yeah, that was a, that was a bit of a gruesome one there from Diawara. 
And that is uh, goes to show the importance of this result here because a win for Roma would see them into the top six of the table so far. And that is where you want to be as we are ticking through the match days. You don't want to be playing catch-up as some of the other teams. Well, there's your answer. They've made a change. Edison Gavani coming off. They've gone with a possibly more agile, slightly quicker Anthony Martial, Harry. Do you, do you agree with that? Yeah, maybe looking to try and hit Roma on the break. We've, we're seeing the Romans at the moment having the lion's share of possession, so why not try and, for these types of positions, have Martial in that sort of number 10 spot to try and break, and well, they have men over here. They do, and it's Mason Greenwood, and he's got support from Martial, but also Rashford. Again, just can't quite make that killer pass pay, and uh, had a two with the clearance towards uh, the halfway line, and Diawara, who was caution for that gruesome challenge as you said and there's a list of the assists there as the ball gets played through another chance for AS Roma oh. and that might be one of the most important saves of the season so far for Manchester United he had to score Harry but it was a fantastic stop in the end oh and it's Roxa he's through one on one you're just looking for a bit of composure there maybe try and lift it over the keeper Instead, it's a really good block and it's a vital one. There is Paul Pogba on for McTominay for United. But Roxa should be burying that one. That, that's maybe game, set and match at that point. Yeah, Manchester United hanging on here for dear life. A third goal would surely be, you would feel, a goal that would see Roma claim four points from a possible six and hugely important result for them in the context of the season. But Manchester United, the team that so far during the campaign have only failed to pick up a point once in the campaign so far into the area pulled it back chance here still in the danger area just can't quite pull the trigger and as roma are defending for their lives right now yeah it's so congested at, at the back there that they just have enough bodies to quell the the plans of Manchester United, and they've won the ball back here. They have indeed, it's broken towards Roxa. Can't get the shot away. Keep possession. Time and time again, a 50-50 goes the way of the Italians in this second half. Another chance here. Good challenge coming in from Pogba. Again, being controlled by Cams. If they get anything from this second game, Harry, he, he is the man. Yeah, he is after missing a few chances in that first game he really has stepped up to the plate and not let it shake him so far but the way Roma are attacking United you just feel like they need to be on, at the utmost concentration well their attack is the best form of defence for Roma but they've got to be careful because the counter attack is on here and the frustration from Eldridge O'Neill at the bottom right hand side he was absolutely furious but he wasn't able to take advantage of that because that is, at this moment in time, Harry, the only way they're going to get back into this game on a counter-attack because it's been all AS Roma, even though they're they're uh, winning. Yeah, 15 in-game minutes left, so not out of reach for Manchester United to get at least an equaliser. You can see they're swapping some, some tactics here. Who's going to be joining the attack? You just heard there, I think Kepa saying, I can't believe I just missed that last chance to make it 3 1. Put a, a pat on the back from Venom. Don't worry, it happens. Huge 15 minutes here for Roma. If they hang on, this could define their season. Out towards the left hand side. Venom with a long ball over the top again going so direct and it's it's not even something that is uh, unknown to Manchester United but there seems to be little they can do at the moment uh, they are struggling when the direct play comes in but they're still crucially just one goal in it with 10 minutes to go and they've got a big chance here and Ostrovitz tries to fire it goalwards with the outside of the right boot blocked again with a last ditch challenge coming in. We know now that AS Roma presumably will sink deeper and deeper and deeper, looking to defend their lead. And another chance for Manchester United comes and goes. Is that a good save, Harry, or should he have done better? I think it's a, it's a tough chance for Ostrovitz to convert. He's been feeding off scraps in these two games against Roma. 
I said it before, he's the goal scorer United need, and that's a tough one to convert. Corner, though. I said to you before the first game, Harry, I, off, off air, that I was going to be a bit calmer in this first game, warm myself into it. It's been absolutely impossible to do so. There's been that much action as the ball gets played towards this left-hand side, and it is an offside. And uh, Harry, how do they get this equalising goal, Manchester United? Well, I mean, you just have to hope that it falls to you. First of all, you have to defend these types of attacks because Roma, will they take it to the corner or try and get a third? We'll see. There's your answer. It bulldozes his way into the area. And a good save in the end from Romero. But like you said, anyone else in the whole of the competition, you feel, would have gone to the corner there. But AS Roma, with this new found optimism for attacking direct football, are still looking to take the game some might say it's naive and could come back to bite them, but seconds left on the clock, it looks like it might just be enough. And that is the league table. And as you can see, Roma up to fourth. Yeah, what a result it would be for them. Only two points behind the leaders. Obviously, everyone else still to play here on, on match day number six. But the match days, they're running out, Adam. And any points you can get from these types of matchups from teams that are around you in the table are, are absolutely vital. Seconds left on the clock. AS Roma with the ball in the corner. Now you feel they'll surely try and tick down the clock. But good defending from Manchester United. Harry Maguire almost got pickpocketed there. But it is a free kick. And with just three minutes of added on time, we have two in-game minutes left for Manchester United to snatch an unlikely equaliser. But it looks like it's too little too late. 30 seconds left. 20 seconds left, 10 seconds left, it's over, and AS Roma, historic four points from match day six, and Harry, very, very well deserved in this second game. Yeah, all smiles from AS Roma. Bit of dejection from the United boys, and it was a gritty performance from, from Roma. 